Hello my soccer universe. I thought it let's do something special and let's look uh, at the uh, Champions League quarterfinals which are being played uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, first legs. And I wanna give you kind of my predictions, which are sure to go wrong, because you know um, you're often more wrong than not. And sometimes you got that feeling. Um, I want to go through it that way that I want to look at the chances of the teams advancing uh, and we already know how it will go further so I might give you my uh, view on that as well. But let's start with the uh, two game matches tomorrow. Uh, there is of course Liverpool against Porto where Liverpool is given by 538 and 80% chance of advancing. I'm on purpose taking 538 and not bookmaking odds because um, I think it's a little bit more fun. These they're more informative. Otherwise, I, you know, people might be inclined to uh, drop some bets through my channel, which I don't want to be responsible for incurring losses. So for that reason, I'm taking 538. I know the bookmaker odds. They are out there. They're probably even more precise than these, than this model here. Liverpool 80% and they play the first game at home. I would actually imagine that Liverpool will get a relatively easy 2-0 uh, win at home to Porto. Porto is a strong team that I don't want to uh, discount, but I think Liverpool is pound for pound the better team. So I would say 2-0 at home for Liverpool. Um, away, I think probably 1-1 one, one draw because Porto is strong at home. Maybe even a little bit of a nail bite that here and there. But I think Liverpool will go through. Um, am I too of the pessimistic? I'm going to stick with it. 2-0 and 1-1. Liverpool, th Liverpool through to the semi-finals. Uh, the other quarter final that's tomorrow is Manchester City uh, against Tottenham. The Manchester City are, giving, are given 79% chance of advancing, of course, Tottenham has the home game tomorrow. Who? Uh, it's in the new stadium. I, I mean, gut feeling would say a draw. But I've, I'm going to say it will be a 3-2 win for Manchester City and then 2-0 at home for Manchester City and they make the semi-finals. I'm with uh, 538, it's a 79% chance of making the semi-finals. Um, then tomorrow uh, is actually a very un-English affair overall. There's only one English team and that's uh, Manchester United playing at home to Barcelona. Um, judging recent form, I honestly gotta, gotta, gotta say I have to give this to Barcelona. I think Barcelona will, with relative ease, will win 2-1 at United. Um, I know, uh, I think a draw, maybe even a win, if they put in a spirit performance, I think it might be in there. But I think Barcelona is just playing way too superior at the moment. Um, and unlike PSG, I think Barcelona will not let it slide too much. Um, I would even say they make a 3-0 at home against Manchester United. So pretty uh, clear uh, win for Barcelona, that's what I foresee. Um, they have an 81% chance of advancing the highest of any of the uh, for any team here, so I would uh, stick with 538 here as well. And then 538's closest matchup is between Juventus and Ajax. They only give Juventus a 56% chance of advancing. I actually think it's a little bit higher. I want to say Ajax can get the draw at home. I don't think Ajax is totally out of, out of it, but there are two factors that uh, tell me that Juventus is undervalued in these predictions here. Uh, and that is Ronaldo comes back from injury and he has something to prove again. I'm not sure if he will play tomorrow. He might, but honestly, every, everyone that hears is it's probably better to not have Ronaldo play tomorrow. For that reason, I think tomorrow nil-nil between you and Ajax. And then at home, I think uh, Juve will... Uh, I'm saying 3-1 Juve. Um... I think Juve will keep it tight tomorrow, will try to contain Ajax. They might even be uh, dangerous on the counter-attack. As much as I would love Ajax to win this one, um, I see it as nil-nil or one-nil Juventus, to be honest with you. But, you know, I have been wrong before. So, the, for me also, like everyone, the four favorites move on. Um, it is then Juventus against Manchester City. And Manchester City, I think... 
might be the better team, but Juventus has all the experience in there. Uh, so the winner of City against Spurs is at home. So this means Manchester City will play the first game at home. I think Juventus will get a 1-1 draw and they will eke out a 2-1 win at home against City and they will make it to the final. I just have a feeling that will, uh, Ronaldo will take that one over. And for Barcelona, Liverpool, uh, first it will be um, Barca at home, 2-1 um, for Barcelona and then 1-1 one, one at Anfield and I have a Juventus um, Barcelona final and I think it will be a repeat, it will be a 2-1 for Barcelona in Madrid. Those are my predictions, that's how I see it going. So maybe a little bit wishful thinking in, in there as well. I could well see, I could see uh, either Liverpool or City turning it around, but I think that uh, Barcelona and Juventus are a little bit too, um, how to say it, too experienced uh, for the two English teams. I don't trust Guardiola 100%. This Bayern team that he had, they could have easily won a Champions League and he didn't. And that's, that's what um, makes me a little bit wary. Uh, and therefore, my I will have a Ronaldo-Messi final, and I think Messi will win that one. He won the first one in 2009, so for a 10-year anniversary, I think he will win it at that one too. Well, let me know your predictions. I'm uh, curious what others think. Again, these are mine uh, more as I think it will go, not how I necessarily want it to go, um, but you know. Predictions have been wrong. I actually think that not all four favorites will make it to the next round. And I don't know who is the most likely uh, taking it away from the predictions. From the predictions, of course, Juventus is the most likely. But I got feeling says Spurs could have could do something. Who knows? Let me know what you think. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.